In this video, you will learn how to make your own air-powered soft robotic gripper. Your kit should include one hub, four fingertips, 12 middle pieces, four end caps, 27 clips, 5 rubber bands, 1 nail, and 1 coupler mold. The materials you will need for this project include a sheet of wax paper, a pair of gloves, safety glasses, a measuring cup, something to stir and spread with, scissors, Ecoflex, both part A and part B, fabric. You will also need a pump. Now it's time to put your mold together. This is where your design can be customized. Make sure to look out for gaps between the pieces. The Ecoflex can leak out of these and cause unequal amounts in fingers or a thinner top layer overall. If you see gaps, try rearranging your pieces or using a spare piece as a replacement. After assembling the mold, insert the amount of clips that your design requires. Be sure that all of your clips are straight up and tight on the trunk. If not, they may tip over and cause large chambers of air that lead to ruptures. Next, you need to put together the coupler. Use the sheet with volume measurements for each part to calculate the total amount of Ecoflex that your design needs. Pour equal amounts of part A and part B. Mix for about one minute. Mixing slowly will reduce the amount of bubbles and your chances of the gripper popping. Now we need to fill the mold. You should have enough Ecoflex to pour to the minimum fill line and also fill the coupler. If you don't have enough Ecoflex, mix a small amount more. Now it's time for the gripper to cure. Ecoflex will cure in about 15 minutes at 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 hours at room temperature. It is important to make sure the curing surface is completely level. This is the best way to get an equal amount of Ecoflex in each finger and therefore even inflation. After the Ecoflex is cured, remove it from the mold. Ecoflex can stretch many times its original size without tearing and will rebound to its original form without distortion, so don't be afraid to really pull when removing it from the mold. Don't forget to remove the clips from the Ecoflex.
Also remove the coupler from the mold. Notice there's a smaller hole and a larger hole. Make sure you cut a square of fabric big enough for your gripper. Mix more EcoFlex using the same steps as earlier. Be sure to have wax paper under the fabric before you pour the EcoFlex. Spread the EcoFlex evenly over the fabric. Be careful because too little EcoFlex will not bond the two layers and you will have air holes. If you use too much, it may clog the airways. Place the gripper channel down onto the fabric. Gently press the edges of the gripper into the EcoFlex. Create a seal of EcoFlex around all sides of the gripper. This will help prevent air from escaping when inflated. Insert the nail into the smaller hole in the coupler. Then, put a layer of EcoFlex around the bottom of the coupler, where the bigger hole is. Insert the nail into the hole in the middle of the gripper. Press the coupler down and make sure it is sealed well. It takes 10 minutes for the fabric to cure to the gripper in the oven, or leave it out for 4 hours at room temperature. Remove the fabric and gripper from the wax paper once it's cured. Use scissors to trim the fabric around the edges of the gripper. Use the pump without any attachments. Inserting the pump into the coupler can be tricky. Wedge one side in and pull the coupler up around it. Check to make sure that the pump valve is closed. Now you're ready to inflate and test your gripper.